So y'all, um, I kind of miss when I used to do my YouTube channel and I used to like have like the pre-recording. So right now, this is going to be a whole video on this stove and this is me preparing to do Sunshine's Bakery um, episode 2 and I want to honestly, you know, the prerequisites. Hold up, let me see something. Press play. Why is it not playing? Yeah, I be having to do audio I'm testing so shit. Alright, testing one, testing two, testing three, testing four, testing five, testing six, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and a eight, and a nine, and a ten, and eleven, and twelve. I said, hey, 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 hey. I said, hey, stop. I just want to be right. So, I know you're like, this is ghetto. What is this shit? Um, this is a get ready with me before I actually start recording. And I want to say, y'all, it's not like as fun as it is over here. Because it is fun. Um, <laughs> I'll be going through like audio test this shit. And y'all be having fun like during my creative process. It's nice, right? So if y'all wondering why I'm eating these and I'm smacking because I want to. But um so I've been eating healthier, you guys. So this is like a baby orange, I think. But I also because acidity and like before you smoke like if y'all know the hacks of like the stoner hacks to like really get a great episode because i really honestly yeah i did a lot of shit today to keep it a whole lean bean with y'all i um i filled out some job applications because your girl got fired because of undercuts and seeing how we're about to go into december and they're gonna need people for the new year and shit like that i'm not really pressed about it I've given myself, like, a schedule to, like, kind of maximize and minimize my shit. Because this is very depressing. Like, let's go get into this before we even get into the video. Like, this is going to be the pre, the pre-show before the real show. Um, so that works. So we can sleep this for, like, 10 seconds. Um, but to keep it all lean being with y'all. It's really juicy. Uh, <laughs> it's very juicy. Let me finish eating this. I know some of y'all was like, that's ghetto as hell. Um, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Um, but to keep it a whole lean, being with y'all, I've been trying to eat healthier these days because I'm not going to hold y'all. I kind of pigged out during Thanksgiving. Only because, um, we're going to talk about it in the video. But I really did pig out this Thanksgiving, y'all. I'm 185. This is the most that I've weighed in a long time. And I know for a lot of y'all, like, oh, 185 is not bad. But y'all, I am literally five fucking four, Okay. I don't want it to get hard for me to start breathing again. Like, people often talk about how, like, oh, you're thick and all this other shit. But, like, I remember growing up, I used to be really, really skinny. And I used to be, like, really insecure about that. And I used to be like, oh, my gosh, I wish I gained weight. And then I gained weight. And it's nothing against, like, the girlies who get it and the girlies who got it. But for me, I was like, this is kind of hard to breathe. Like... Yeah, I think the most I ever weighed um in life was probably like two something. Yeah, this is like my garbage snack bag. Because y'all be trying to like Yeah, I think I'm a minimalist. So what I mean by that is like when it comes down to like organizing and shit like that, like I don't like a lot of shit. Like I didn't do organized chaos. 
but I can't like do a lot of shit that's like around me that's like out of place and because I don't like having like a bunch of garbage bags and shit around me so I have like reusable snack bags so like if I'm snacking on something like I'm not gonna hold y'all yesterday I had a salty craving just gonna keep it a whole lean bitch I had a salty craving and I had some chips so this is like the shit that I used to like put my orange peels in and shit like that um so yeah it's called, I don't know, I think it's called upcycling. I don't know what the trend is called. Um, But to go back to Thanksgiving, y'all, I really pigged out. So terrible. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I had so much sweets and shit. Like, y'all, I had a headache. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I hate having the itis. But even just, like, surviving Thanksgiving, because I'm not going to talk about it, Um, it kind of brought a lot of revelations to me. This holiday season. And it helped me get over my dilemma that I was having. That's not good. That's bitter. I don't really think that's good. That's bitter. Mm. I kind of like it, but I don't. You know what I mean? I'm gonna need some sweetness but no like i really got over my dilemmas that i had and these are some personal dilemmas too like these are some things that i was struggling with for a very long time like most people will see me and they'll be like oh what did somebody tell me before and somebody told me like i don't want my dilemmas and my shit on my shoulders and shit in my heart but i'm like the people who know me know <laughs> Like, this is how you know we not close. Because people who know me know my real dilemmas and, like, my heart and shit. And the way that they be, like, right on my ass is ridiculous. I'm not gonna hold y'all. That's terrible. Um, I don't know why. But anyways, um, my whole thing is... I figured out my dilemmas, and if y'all be like, oh, you never wear your dilemmas on your shoulders, I do wear my dilemmas on my heart. Like, these are the things that I complain about a lot out loud. Um, I recently decided I was gonna stop complaining about it and just do what's best for me. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a nod and a wink to the people who are like my biggest supporters behind closed doors um shout out to the people who helped me like fix out my dilemmas and shit like that um me and my grandmother have been getting closer which is a plus because y'all ever since my grandma died this year um last year october and they told me on valentine's day this year I'm still hurt about that. Yes, I am. Um, I've forgiven them, but it's like, uh, it's like, yeah, the, it's like I forgive you, but it's like at the end of the day, it's like I see who you are now. And I think a lot of people, when it comes down to forgiveness, they're like, oh my gosh, like if you forgive me, you have to let it go. And I did let it go. I just look at you differently now. Like, I think people think that when you forgive them like that, you say that what they're doing is acceptable and it's not. <laughs> um, it's just that you're not holding them to that. But when you forget people, they do the same thing over and over again. I think, like, people get it, like, twisted. Like, you're supposed to be like, okay, cool. And then when you don't want to deal or be around them, it seems to be a problem. Um, I was on... Ooh! I was on Snapchat. And... Yeah, it's 40 degrees outside. And I ain't got no fucking sleeves. This is how y'all know I fuck with y'all. And I want that on that. What the fuck? This is a terrible show. Oh. Uh, you need to get it together, Pookie Roots. You need to get it together, Pookie Roots. I don't really like that. We moving. We exposed to too much of my space. Um. But yeah. I'm going to set this up. After I get ready to record. But basically... I've been, I've been talking to my grandma, and we were talking to my grandma. She introduced me to this concept of forgiveness. And I said, Grandma, I said, I'd be forgiving, but I said, be the same shit over and over again. And so my grandma said, you can forgive somebody once, and if they continue to do the same behavior, you've already forgiven them for that behavior. You just, you just attach that to them. And she told me to lower my expectations amongst the people around me and the people who, um, who I feel like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like... <laughs> 
smell really that's real juicy this is what juicy fruit is made of um and they be like oh how does that see that juicy fruit it be from the fruit <laughs> but no like me and my grandma had a full-blown conversation about this the other day and in the middle of the conversation me and my grandma were talking and she came out and she was like oh well you know like you know you just have to move around and do what you need to do and me and my grandma had a very serious conversation and i was like grandma like how do you feel about you know what i'm saying like x y and z because i don't really like to go say our business like that but then i called my tt and i had a conversation with her and she told me about the shit and i was like this is nice you know what i'm saying um It's been a whole week since I called them. And I think I'm getting, like, kind of used to the ability to reattach myself to people. Because I'm not going to hold y'all. When my grandmother died, it was hard for me to, like, connect with people. And people thought that I was being, like, stuck up or bougie. But in reality, it was very hard for me, especially when I found out on Valentine's Day. Like, I'm not going to hold you. I'm a crybaby. I need emotional support and, like, communication skills. And when I didn't get that, it kind of hurt my feelings. Um, a lot, I, I found out this Thanksgiving that nobody really knew that my gr work grandma died <laughs> and that it was a family secret. So it kind of like took off some of the pain, but still at the same time, it's like, I feel like I should have known if anything, because you know, that's my grandma, like that's my great grandma and everybody didn't have a problem telling me about, um, my uncle's death. Like, nobody had a problem telling me, like, that he passed away. But this, the, not to mention a great-grandparents and a, like, bro, like, be fucking for real. Like, they literally told me about a family member that had passed away who me, before he had passed away, who was at odds. So, when you think about it, like, if we're at odds, right, and we're not on the same page, why would you have this person around me? Like, why would you tell me that this person passed away? And it's like, is it supposed to make me feel guilty? Because at the end of the day, I made my decision. And this person been out a long time ago in my head. But to keep the secret away from me, like, it's like... It's hard to forgive. And people often talk about, like, forgiveness as if it's this, um... As if it's this concept of life and just like you're just supposed to get up and go and be like okay cool like i'm a robot i need nothing from this world and when you look back people are looking at you like oh my gosh like she's not you know what i'm saying like they look at me sideways and i'm just like you're looking at me sideways and for what like that be my whole entire thing because i be having valid points and when i'm right people will get upset with me and then i get treated like a ugly duckling but when i shut up everybody's like oh and i'm just like yeah and for me i be like it's easy the 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 forgiving is easy because you're mediocre at best but it's the like i think what hurts the most is when you take the people who you like genuinely had high expectations from it, and then you realize like they can't give you what you need and it's almost like okay this person can't give me what i need but i really love this person and i know if i like i'm not gonna do nothing but hurt myself in the end and when you get to that point you're almost like Ugh, you know what i'm saying and it's not as fun as people try to make it seem like oh it's just this overly romanticized shit in reality it's fucking not sometimes that shit hurts like if i keep it a whole lean being with y'all and i tell y'all the truth um <laughs> forgiveness is the easy part accepting the fact that you can't trust these people that the people who you genuinely love aren't the same people that are going to give a fuck about you is the part that hurts because it's like you look at these people and you're like all your life you've been taught and then it's like you see them and then it's not that the ideology of perfection is like fucked up it's the ideology that they don't want to do better for themselves and they're happy at what, the place that they're at because you because people often say this and i'm not to like start the podcast and shit but people often say shit like um so people often say shit like oh well you know that um people often say shit like People often say shit like, oh, well, I know this person did this and I know this person did that, but you can't hold them to that. You have to forgive them. Like, mind you, I have a pedophile 
or I had somebody who um, was trying to groom me at a very early age in the family. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, he's a husband. He has kids now. We're not going to bash him. He's a strong black man of God. This man is the same man that is on my Twitter every fucking day looking at what I have to post. And mind you, I used to wonder, like, why is this person commenting on my shit? This is the same exact person that I forgave him, right? For touching me, fucking up my mindset, and doing all this other shit. Traumatizing me, forgiving, right? Forgave. Same person. Years later, after I did an expose video on this person, follow me on Twitter. And is talking and bragging about how well they are with kids. And their kids, to be exact. Their daughters, Right? And they're often commenting on my shit, weird and explicit shit. So when we say, oh, well, you have to forgive, you have to forgive, you have to forgive, you have to forgive, forgiveness is not the problem. Is if this person going to keep the same behaviors afterwards? Because I could forgive you a million times. But if you're going to keep the same behavior up to me and you're not going to change, and now you're mediocre. And you could be great to the world, but you're just mediocre to me. Anyways, this has been the pre-show before the pre-show. Um, do not forget to go tell a friend. Uh, don't forget to tell a friend about the YouTube channel, Drea's Diaries. And um, we're going to go from there. Drea's Diaries. And do not forget, if y'all guys are actually liking the shit that I'm doing, make sure I leave a like and a comment so the algorithm actually gets it. Because y'all can email me and DM me on Instagram. But if y'all not saying this shit in the comments... My video doesn't get out. So let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Anyways, you guys, we're about to get prepared to do the Sunshine's Bakery um episode. So we finally have a name for it. Um, I honestly wish I found a name for this shit earlier because fuck it. But it's called Sunshine's Bakery. And here we are. And your girl is getting baked today. Because it's been a little bit over a week since your girl dropped a video and I want to make a example out of the stuff that I want to do. So, Sunshine's Bakery will always be on a Monday because who the fuck cares? Like, I, I, that's just shit I just honestly want because between me dropping content on OnlyFans on Wednesdays, my podcast on Fridays, I feel like this kind of gives me shit, this time to space out shit that needs to be done. And when I do actually start working, because I do pre-record, that um, this should be easier for me. Um, So keep it a whole lean, being with y'all. We're going to have a blast. We're going to have some fun. This is the end of the pre-show. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram. Actually, my Instagram and my Twitter are the same. Um, I know y'all like, y'all see this shit? This is why. This is why I wanted to wrap my hair. And this is why I've been a lazy fuck. Actually, y'all want to know the truth about my hair? Well, I'm here. Yeah, I retwisted my hair lazily and I got the wrong hair. And because I got the wrong hair and I started halfway through before I realized that it wasn't giving what it's supposed to give. And I had to go find Marley hair that does not break me out. And the place that I live in is specifically extremely Caucasian. And I've tried like cleaning my hair and shit like that and it does not work. Um, I literally have to order my hair online and they're fucking sold out thanks to Cyber Monday. And a Black Friday sale. So we are going to have to wait. To wrap our hair around. I might just take this shit out. I personally don't know. Um, Y'all know I'm not good for keeping a fucking hairstyle in my head. Um, But outside of that. um, That's just it. We're about to go get into Sunshine's Bakery. And um, yeah. This should be a good episode. I feel like the pre-show was really nice. I kind of got out the shit I really didn't want to talk about. So now I can actually talk about the shit I want to talk about. <laughs> If you got the sis that God gave you, don't leave me around your man. Summer Walker is having fun and I live for it. 